All right, so this the laser inside this Wii is a laser I bought off eBay like a month ago. It was 10 bucks, and it just does not, it is a very, very strange, very strange behavior. So we put it in, sounds normal. You know, mostly act normal. Look at this channel we got. It's spinning. It goes. We need the banner. We should play. There you go. Let's try starting it. It's still, still going good. Here's the warning screen. Loading. We're gonna see what it fails. Look at that. It spun down. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's try rebooting the Wii. Maybe that'll fix it, huh? Sounds good so far. Wait, it's... There it goes again. This time I got arrow 002, but that's probably because I have the iOS 249. Yeah, there it goes. I have it to force this game to run the iOS 249. Because I, there's nothing to do with that. Um, Alright, come on. Oh, look, it's spinning up again. You know what? Let's go and grab a GameCube game. Yeah, same thing. Just does not want to read them. Actually, well, that time I read it. There it goes. Beep, 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 and reset. It goes spinning down. Let's try starting it. It's definitely not going to do anything. Yep, okay. Cool. So that is this very probably lizard. Other things it does is, um, sometimes it doesn't recognize the disc at all. It'll just do the few clicks. And this doesn't spin at all, and it just doesn't recognize it. And I've, um, it has nothing to do with the shield here being missing. Um, I have desoldered the anti static, which of course I have, or else it wouldn't have worked. I even tried soldering that just to see what it would do. I've tried adjusting the pots, it does nothing. So this is just a defective laser that they sent me. <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm just surprised that of all the strange behaviors doing. 